Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are all doing super super well. Today you guys join me in my closet again um, because today I'm sharing some of my autumn outfits. Um, I'm going to share outfits that I've either worn, worn already or that I plan to wear um, this season. Um, as I said in my previous videos, I'm just really into creams and whites and just neutral colors with pops of colors here and there. Um, obviously my vibe might change throughout the season, but just I've just noticed recently I've been gravitating towards more neutral and like white cream kind of colors. So that's what I'm doing, but you guys know I still love color, so I always have to add some color in my outfit, um, and you'll see. So I'm just going to jump right into the video. I think I've got like seven, eight outfits to share, and then some pieces at the end that I thought I would just pop in here. Um, so I just put on my base at the moment, which is this Fendi dress. I've definitely shared this in my uh, Fendi video, my Fendi collection video. Hopefully if I step back, you guys can see the full dress. I don't know how back I need to step. I probably should have worn my glasses, or maybe I should pop you guys down. Okay guys, I had to relocate because it was getting way too noisy outside my window in my closet. So I'm in my living room right now. There is still noise, but it's not as bad as my closet. Anyways, I was talking about shoes. These are the perfect shoes for this outfit because it goes with the neutral theme. This matches my outfit really well, but I love that the um, heel, this python is pink. So it matches the hat. It's very subtle, but it's there. And yeah, these are my these are by Louis Vuitton, by the way. So I'm gonna put these on and then step back and show you guys the full outfit. This is the entire first outfit put together, and I love it a lot. I got so many compliments when I wore this as well. I felt really good in this. I felt super confident. I was walking around, strutting around, feeling really good. I feel like really put together, very classy. Um, and like a lady at a shop even came out to compliment me when I was walking by, I thought it was really nice of her. Um, yeah, I just think it's, yeah, like I said, a very classy, sophisticated outfit, but there is still like some fun, uh, some, some fun surprises here and there, like the pearls on the back and the little pattern and then like the python heel. There's still like some elements of like interest, but they're still very classy pieces. Guys, I have the heating on at home, so I'm like actually melting. So I have to take the hat off and the jacket off while I share this next bit because, or else I'll actually melt. But I wanted to share something I got from my friend Azima the other day. Um, I messaged, well, no, I talked about her on my previous vlog in case you guys haven't seen it. My friend Azima, she has her own store. I actually met her at a masterpiece event and she introduced her brand to me and I followed her Instagram since then. Um, her brand is called Azima Museyeva and she does cuff and collars and anklets all made out of amazing gorgeous lace with like so I'll show you some examples these are the ones that she's gifted me um, there's this one here how gorgeous is this so you just some of them are so I'll show you this one some of them are elasticated there's this one here how gorgeous is this cuff some of them, are, so these are like super easy to put on and take off. You just do that. You gotta fix your sleeve a little bit, obviously. I actually did a photo shoot for her um, not too long ago, and I did share that um, part of that in my last vlog. So you would have seen I wore this outfit because I thought this outfit would just worked really well with literally any one of her collars. Like all of the ones she gifted me, this one as well would look amazing with this um, dress on. Okay, so I've given you guys both examples here. This one um, is where the cuff is tucked in, so it looks like possibly this is um, from my shirt that I'm wearing underneath the coat. And this one, I've left it out so you guys can see it's an added accessory onto the outfit. And I think both looks fine. I think I do prefer it this way a little bit more. It's more subtle, but I think they're both so cool. And they bring outfits or like just general pieces like a new life because it just changes up the look completely. Um, if I take my coat off. You guys can see. So I'll show you guys what this one looks like. I did, so this one is like a, a button one. I did wear this one with this outfit as well the other day for our shoot. 
You just have to fidget a little bit to make sure all the wrinkles are out of your sleeves and looks good. And you like how it looks on the wrist. And yeah, how pretty is this one? Makes it so dainty. It also, it like these are great to make like day looks into evening looks or like to change up like, um, like to add something to a cocktail dress or something. You can even wear them with short sleeve things as well. These just add, they just look like little bracelets on, but they like, you know, they're cuffs or whatever. So cool, I love these. Again, I'll link her link down below in case um, you guys wanna check her website out. She's got, like I said, so many really beautiful designs and she does these amazing anklets. I definitely wanna go in store to look at those. I wanna get a pair for myself. Um, she has a store in New Bond at the moment. I think it might be a pop-up, not entirely sure, but um, she's in New Bond at the moment. And she gave me another pair of cuffs, but I'm gonna show you these with my next outfit because I think it will look really good with my next outfit. By the way, these are the dust bags that the cuffs come in. Okay, so my next outfit, like I said, I'm still wearing my Fendi dress. I'm gonna put on this, um, this is a pretty old Jill Sander blazer. This is maybe when it's like not freezing out, because this Louis Vuitton coat that I wore earlier is like when it's proper cold out. I love this Jill Sander blazer. Like I said, again, I've had this for years. I probably had this, I don't know, maybe over six years or something. I'm like obsessed with it, I bring it out again every autumn because it's like my favorite layering piece i just love how this blazer lays on me it's just perfect these are the other cuffs she gifted me by the way i actually chose these these are like my favorite so i chose these and she very kindly gave it to me um these ones have polka dots on them look at that how cute you can't tell if it's my shirt underneath or it's part of the jacket or if it's a separate accessory it just it just um, works so well with blazers and jackets and whatnot. Then I brought out, so in the photo shoot, I actually wore this outfit as well. I borrowed her blazer and I borrowed her hat as well. She got it from Harrods. I don't know where it's from. I'll pop the picture up. But um, this is the one that I have. This is a vintage Longwell hat. So I thought I would put this on to give you guys an idea of like a similar outfit I've worn. So this is the second outfit again with the same Fendi dress. Um, it's still a very classy look, I believe, but it's a different type of classy. Um, I love this outfit so much. I love just the little surprises, the added details. I think, honestly, when it comes to autumn time, as long as you invest in really cute accessories, really statement, fun, unexpected accessories, I think all you need is your classic wardrobe, and then you just add these to make it like um, more interesting. Oh goodness, I don't know why I'm out of breath. <laughs> For example, my dress and my blazer, they're quite classic silhouettes that most people should have in their wardrobe anyway. Um, all you need to do is add, like buy some really funky hats, buy some beautiful cuffs, and it just completely changes up the outfit and makes it look like you put a lot of effort. Also some fun boots is always a good idea, but yeah, I absolutely love this outfit. This hat is so much fun. So this is the base of my third outfit. Um, I'm wearing this Louis Vuitton top. This is the one that has the little detailing here, but I've tucked that in so you can't even see it. I just wanted a really nice um, soft turtleneck white top. This is, this is an old pair. I think these are Topshop, either Topshop or ASOS. Um, pretty old skirt, I've had this for a while, but I promised to share how I would style this set in my um, one of my previous vlogs. And so this, is what I wore with this outfit. So I'm gonna put it on and show you guys the whole look. So it comes with a vest. Which I buttoned up. I keep forgetting there's a men's vest, so like the buttons are on opposite sides. Like I said in the vlog, I bought this, uh, the vest, more, my, more true to size, because um, I wanted it to be quite fitted on me, so it's like nice and tight but then I wanted the blazer to be super oversized. So it's like more relaxed fit kind of thing. If you guys do follow me on Instagram, which is at when when Stokes, you guys would have seen this outfit already because I did post a picture with it. I wore it with this Chanel silver backpack as well as my Ghani boots that I recently purchased.
So this is the outfit all together. I wore this to the pumpkin patch the other day. I loved it. Felt super fun and cutesy in this outfit. And if you want to go that extra bit, because you guys know I love to accessorize with hats, I did oops, wear my, um, what is this brand called again? A Child of the Lago hat. Um, this green hat, which I thought looked really cute with this outfit. It just gave the pop of color that I needed. Of course, this might be too much for some people, so I think this outfit looks um, pretty interesting, cool enough without the hat, but me being me and being a little bit more extra, I needed the hat to feel like this outfit was complete. I love that the cowboy boots give this like look a more relaxed feel. Um, and on the day I actually had matching green um, eye makeup on as well, which I just, cause I was bored that morning, I decided to put some makeup on. Um, I have purple on today. Usually I would just do liner for a video or just my mascara, but I am going out this evening, so I was like, why not just put a bit of color on now um, for the video? Cause yeah, I'm not often in colorful eye makeup. Everybody loves layering during autumn time, and this is a very easy and quick way to layer because it just comes in a set. Because I know sometimes layering can be a little bit tricky for some people. Um, I find it tricky sometimes, especially I'm not really inspired, so sets like this really help out and make it easy to layer. Um, but yeah, I'm a huge fan of layering during winter time or autumn winter time, and that's what makes autumn fashion so much more fun. Just before I button up, I thought I would share um, what I have on underneath. For days, I mean, I wear heat techs from Uniqlo pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time as soon as it drops, the, uh, the weather drops because I am so terrified of the cold. I'm a tropical baby. I don't know how to deal with the cold. But um, I love Uniqlo's. I literally have, wait, I have a box, just not a box, but like a bucket just filled with my heat techs. I just kind of dump them in there because I wear them every single day. This is one that I haven't worn yet, so they come like this. This is nothing new. I hope you guys all know about this because they are lifesavers. They allow me to sometimes not need to wear a jacket, especially when I layer up. Sometimes I'll even wear two heat techs, especially when I'll show you later under like really thick um, jumpers, so that I don't even have to wear a coat. <sighs> there is a problem with doing that because then when you go inside, you're like melting. So you just have to be smart with it, see like where you're going that day, um, maybe two layers of heat tech is too much. But for example with this outfit, I don't really want, as you can see the sleeves are like the main thing, I don't want to wear a jacket over it. So um, wearing heat tech really really helps. So um, you get, I get nude ones most of the time now because it helps underneath white clothing. But they also come in different... Um, they also come in different thickness. There's like super heat tech and there's like the regular ones, whatever. They're basically just heat retaining um, material. So it just keeps you warm on the inside. Anyways, I am melting, not gonna lie. I mean, I don't really need to put the heat tech on to show you guys this outfit, but I just wanted to share it anyway in case you guys wonder like how I'm going out the house with just this shirt on. Like, no, I have a heat tech on underneath. So it really helps a lot, but I got this shirt the other day I am obsessed with it it is so much fun it kind of gives me Comte de Gasson vibes but for a fraction of the price I went to a cafe that had like a concept store underneath they're my favorite I love concept stores it's called 202 um, and it is in Westbourne Grove Notting Hill area and yeah they have amazing pieces in there I have to go back because I was eyeing another jacket well actually like two jackets while I was there but this is the next outfit um, I don't want to keep it, I don't want to tuck the whole thing in, I kind of want to keep it quite relaxed. Um, plus this is not like that long, but I adore this top. I love the drama on the sleeves, it's so much fun. And I would pair it with these Balenciaga houndstooth um, boots that I got in Vancouver like last year. And then for bag, I haven't decided whether I'd, I mean, I'd go for something small because of how massive these sleeves are. So I have this vintage Dior bag with me or my Chanel mini that I would wear more like a um, top handle. And then if you want to go that extra bit, maybe, I don't know, maybe an evening look or something, you can pop on a hat, just a black hat, just to, I don't know, add something. 
Okay. So this is what this outfit looks like. Like I said, I just recently bought this top, so I haven't actually worn this out. I haven't styled this before, so I have to just put this outfit together in my wardrobe just now. This is how I think I would wear this outfit out. I do love this outfit. Um, I can't decide between the bags, though. Well, let's just go with like an extra mini mini or one. I think it's super cute. You can also wear this outfit, obviously, without the hat. I think it will look equally cute. But I think for autumn time, I like to wear hats. Not only does it keep my head warm, but I don't know, hats just make all outfits look super like autumn -y and warm. And I love the print on the, and like the gold on the boots. It just breaks this up a little bit more. The jeans I'm wearing are by Balenciaga, by the way. Um, I wear these so much. I mean, they're like my everyday jeans almost, but the main attractions, of course, the sleeves. And I love the little bow here. So that is, what, the fourth outfit I think we're on? I always miscount at some point, but yeah. Next outfit I have on my new pair of Fendi pants that I got from the Nicki Minaj Times Fendi collection. They're the silver pants. They do make a bit of noise. <laughs> I was like trying to avoid that earlier, but yeah, when you're like not really thinking about it, you do make a bit of noise. I don't know if that bothers some people, but I still love them. They look so cool and they're so like, it's it's interesting because they're casual style pants, but the silver make them look more, way more dressy. Um, and they're not like super loose fitting. They're quite like, they're quite, it's not too tight, but it's just like, it's fitted. And then to go with these, oh, my top is from Zara. Um, it's just a knit top. This is a recent purchase, so you can definitely still find this in store. But if you could tuck that in and then pop on some white boots. These are Celine boots. I've worn these to death. Okay, so I've just popped the shoes on. I'll step back. I bought two um, bag options again. One is for more of like a ladies brunch kind of thing, like off to a little cute lunch with the girlfriends. And one is more casual, the other one's more casual running errands, doing some shopping, etc. Um, but of course, like I said, I always need a pop of color. So this is the pop of color. One or the other. So that's the outfit without the other bag. So I think I prefer this look with this bag because I think it just the bag sticks with like the sporty theme of the pants. And again, I've got a heat tech underneath this. Obviously I don't need to show it in this video, but if I was gonna go out, um, I would wear a heat tech so I don't have to wear a jacket over this because I think this just looks good on its own like that. Okay, so this next look, I am wearing the same Zara knit top that I was wearing in my previous outfit, but I popped the turtleneck up and I tucked my hair in, I pulled some of it out. The easiest way is to just like put the entire sweater on and then just like take a little bit out. And then these Prada gloves. So, okay, let me see. I've got to unbutton these, which is kind of annoying to unbutton and then rebutton. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even button it back up on the sleeve, it's still open, but you can't tell because I covered it up. Um, it's not quite cold enough to wear this outfit out yet, but I thought I would share it anyway before, because I did promise I would share how it styled this in the haul that I hauled this in. So I might as well share it now. I would wear it with a massive chunky knit with a troll neck. Some white pants, these are some white pants I actually got at Topshop the other day. Um, and I've been wearing it nonstop because they work so well with my current vibe. And then I've got my Ghani white massive coat. 
I love that this coat is so wide. I think with this outfit, especially with these crazy gloves, it does need like a pretty oversized kind of look to make it look cool. And I do like want to keep my hair tucked in for this outfit. I think, again, it gives more of a cozy look. Gives you a different hairstyle as well, I guess. Um, so I haven't worn this outfit out yet, but this is probably how I would wear these gloves. I think it actually looks so cool. I'm like so excited to wear this out. I totally understand that these gloves aren't for everyone though, but I just love how fun they are. And they're just, they're not the easiest to style, but they, I think they look cool. I do have another pair of uh, leather gloves in red by Chanel and I love those as well. I wore those last year, but yeah, this year I have these really pretty Prada ones that I love. It's just like a literally all white outfit and the only thing it is. I don't have my bag with me. I probably think I'll just, again, keep the bag super simple, just the white, my white Chanel classic. Oops, my hair is falling out. Um, because like, you don't wanna go too crazy with the colors, I think, with this, because it's quite out there. <laughs> I was just looking at my wardrobe and I realized, I think if you also just happen to have the same color knit, or at least a really dang similar one. Oh my God, it's really hard to put on <laughs> now that I have all my layers on. But I think, can we just imagine, I can't be bothered putting this whole thing on. I think if you have the same color knit, instead of wearing the white, you could also just wear that color, maybe it helps bring in the gloves a bit more so it's not like floating hands, although I actually didn't mind the floating hands a little bit. But this is actually also really cool as well. This is a Balenciaga knit that I got a while ago as well. I feel like I keep saying a while ago, but that's a thing like I invest in my clothing and I genuinely do wear it like throughout time, no matter how old or how new it is. I love wearing my pieces. And this is definitely one I've had for several years and I still wear it, I bring it out every season. And maybe this is another option to wear these gloves. I didn't do it properly on this hand, sorry, but I did it on this hand <laughs> or this arm. Again, with the same Celine boots. Next, I've got my new Dior sweater on. I absolutely love this. I actually wore this yesterday. I just wore it with some yoga pants because I was just going out for some coffee with a friend. But um, I would, if I was styling it, I would wear it with these white pants. Usually I would tuck um, shirts into high-waisted pants, but I want the entire embroidery to, embroidery to be seen because it's just too beautiful to hide. So I've left it out. I'm also going to be wearing it with my new Dior, Lady Dior. And I have decided, I've already put aside, because you get the first three charms for free. I don't think I mentioned that in my previous video, but I'm gonna do WS and then a star. I think I've decided on that. Because I couldn't decide between WS and a star or WLS. I don't know, my middle name is Lee, so. Anyways. <laughs> As for shoes, for the pop of color, I've gone for these Fendi boots. These cock effect, or yeah, it's cock effect boots. And then again, I am popping over my Ghani pants, or Ghani pants, Ghani um, jacket with the Topshop pants. Honestly, like some of my pieces have been worn so much because of how much of a staple it, it has been in my wardrobe. So I'm like really obsessed with um, a couple pieces at the moment. So I've definitely lost count of what outfit we're on now, especially because I've added another outfit anyway, so I really don't know what we're on but this is the next one all put together i especially just love the pop of blue on the boots especially because it's like this crock effect um i like to swing this uh bag back to make it look more casual because like i said i wanted this to be a very everyday casual bag the lady dior is generally quite a dressy bag but i think worn the right way and the the color obviously it's just, it can be more casual you can obviously wear it on the top handle as well if you guys if you want to look more like classy and more boss lady like <laughs> but yeah this sweater this knit is so amazing it's my favorite one out of all of the ones that they have then they have like one with like a sun on it that one's actually my second favorite then they have one with a star i'm not a huge fan of the star and then there's another one i can't remember what that one was but this one's my favorite i love the lion at the bottom and yeah with this bag Guys, I feel like I need a breather. <laughs> I'm so exhausted and it's like still just morning time.
but um, actually no, I think it's just like just past noon, but I haven't eaten. That's probably why I'm like getting a bit exhausted. I had planned to do this video within my closet so that I can just pull things out and like kind of even show you guys like me just pulling things out. I think that, that would have been fun, but it was just way too noisy. There was like clanking all like two seconds. And I just couldn't like just for myself, I couldn't handle it. So I had to come here. But um, hopefully next time, my next kind of styling video, I can do it in there. And you can still hear the noise now. It's just driving me crazy. They are finishing up though. So right now the noises are more like taking down the scaffolding. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, hopefully my next um, video I can uh, show you guys me within the closet. You can see like more of me pulling things out. But I think I've got a couple more outfits to share. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back with the next outfit. I'm still wearing the same Topshop pants. I am actually looking to invest in a pair of white pants. I just haven't found the perfect one yet. Um, I haven't really looked that much either though. So I will spend some time looking for the perfect, nice white pair of pants. I think that's a very important staple to have in my wardrobe as well. But this Topshop one has worked amazing the past couple days. This is an outfit that I did wear the other day. I wore to go see the Tutankhamen exhibition at Saatchi Gallery. Anyways, um, I bought this. This is also a new sweater. I bought this, I don't know, a couple days ago from Selfridges. This is by Nanushka, and I just loved this gorgeous knit. Um, and I love this really cute detailing here. It's just like this pearl looking thing. And what I wore with this were these Chanel boots that I got last season, or sorry, last winter last time it was cold <laughs> my brains are my, my brain's like slurring now and my words are slurring as well clearly i love these boots um yeah i bought them last winter obsessed with them um they're so comfortable and they give me just that bit of height and a tiny bit of color but still like a pretty dark pair of boot i also for pop of color wore this blue paint chanel mini i thought it was just so much fun also because i live in london an umbrella is an accessory, okay guys? I do own quite a few umbrellas because it just depends on my outfit, depends on my mood, if I feel like carrying a small one in my bag or if I would feel like holding one in my arm, on my arm, my hand. This one, um, or actually I hold it on my wrist sometimes, so I guess my arm, but this one is a Lanva umbrella. Sorry, the noise outside. Um, this is a Lanva umbrella that I got from the show that I recently went to for SS20 in Paris. I'm not gonna open it up. Maybe I can pop a picture. I'm not gonna open up because um, it's bad luck. But like I said, when you live in a country that rains a lot, I feel like an umbrella is an accessory. It does add to the look. So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. I'll put the shoes on. Just so you guys know with this outfit, I did have my hair up in a ponytail like this. Obviously we all know what a ponytail is. Um, I would have it like that or maybe I would curl my hair or crimp it or something because it kind of looks a bit like flat in this outfit but this was the outfit that I wore the other day. So here is the outfit. Wait, I'll show you guys without the umbrella first. See, without the umbrella, this is what the outfit looks like. It's cute. It's cozy. It's fun. Casual. Very comfortable. I'm insanely comfortable right now. It's the best outfit to be in when you go to like a museum or something. You want to be as comfortable as possible. Still look cute though because you're in the museum. <laughs> and you want to like look good. Um, but with the umbrella, I feel like there's definitely a vibe. There's definitely like, even the way you walk, you can just like... Oh, actually, I was wrong. I wore a different pair of shoes. I wore my Balenciaga houndstooth shoes with this outfit but i changed my mind i think this outfit looks better with just like plain boots like that as opposed to the pattern balenciaga houndstooth one but i just love the vibe of holding an umbrella especially with a whole white look or a whole black look maybe even um i didn't wear a jacket i wore my um heat tech underneath and i just rocked out like this Okay guys, so I've just put on my last full entire outfit that I wanna share with you guys. Although stay till the end because I've got two um, really amazing pieces that I've added into my collection. Well, actually one really amazing, the other one's just like really pretty and I thought that I would share it in case anyone else liked it and wanna go grab it. But I have two pieces at the end that I wanna share with you guys, so stay tuned. But this is my last out, like full full outfit I'm gonna share. 
Um, this is an outfit that I actually thought of last night because I was trying to think how I would style this bracelet bag trend. I feel like a lot of brands, like especially Louis Vuitton, Prada did something like this, but for their boots, I don't know. I feel like these bracelet style bags um, have been circling a little bit. So I thought I would style, see like how I would style this. And of course, sticking with my theme, this is actually a heat tech that I have on. This is a white heat tech. I do actually wear this sometimes just like on the outside. This is also turtleneck. You can wear it up or you can fold it down. The pants that I have on are also by Topshop. I bought this the same time I bought the other white pants. Those are two items I bought on that trip. Um, but I wasn't looking for a pair of white sweatpants, but I walked past these and what sold me was in, t in the inside of this is fleece. So it's super soft, cozy, and warm. And I'm like, this feels so nice. And I thought this is so perfect if I'm just like running out to run a quick errand, going for coffee with a friend, or even just lounging in. Um, but these are really like chill sweatpants I thought would really work into my wardrobe. And I was thinking if I put this on, Again, this style of bag is like more like sporty to me than like fancy. So I think it like matches the sweatpants really well. And I think to go with the look, I'm pulling out my super insanely old Valentino sneakers. I've had this for like, again, probably over five years or something like that. And then over it, I am wearing this coat, which when I wore this like a couple weeks ago, I got so many DMs asking where this is from. This is from Zara, but this is also a very old piece I think I've had this for at least like three, four years as well. So it's been a long time, but I love it because I don't own a lot of cardigans. This is a very like, looks like a coat, but it's like, it's not too thick. It's definitely like cardigan vibes, like a long cardigan vibe. Um, and I just think when this kind of shows, it's kind of cool. It can also cover it up because it's nice and wide. The bag that I would wear with this is my Lady Dior because I think it just, I wouldn't put like a different brand next to all this logoing, especially when I'm holding it. I mean, let me just show you guys. So this is the outfit without anything over, like a jacket or cardigan. Super laid back, chill, but then, you won't see this as much, but it will peep through whenever you're like moving and stuff, which I think is cool. But yeah, I think the sneakers and the jogging pants just keep this casual, uh, keep this outfit super casual. And I just think this is just such an element of surprise, like what the heck is around your wrist? And then with the purse. I don't know, I still, I'm not like totally on board with this bracelet bag trend. But with this, I'm on board with this. We'll see how this trend evolves, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so my hair is like officially messed up because I've been in and out of clothes and I've been sweating. I turned the heating off though, so it is a bit cooler now. But anyways, I have two last pieces I wanna share with you guys. Um, they really don't go with my theme recently, but you know, you guys know me, I still love color. I probably will change my vibe in a couple weeks and see, I'll do another, when, when my vibe changes, I'll do another styling video. But I saw this dress at Zara yesterday and I thought it was so pretty actually. I'm like surprised with their color choice. I thought, I love pink and red by the way. Pink and red looks so adorable together. Very like popsicle. Um, I don't know, I just think it's a very cute combination. So I love that they did red lace with this gorgeous pink um, sequins. And it's not like a tacky pink. Like these kinds of pinks are generally quite tacky to me. But I think that the reflection of them is just so pretty. I think it's just so stunning. I think this would be really cute. Maybe not even over this, right? I mean, take the pants off, but just like um, a long sleeve underneath. There's also lace at the bottom. I didn't even show you guys a whole dress. It's a full, oops. It's a full long dress with lace at the bottom. And I think to style these, I would either wear like a tight long sleeve underneath, maybe a different color, maybe white, um, or maybe black, depending. Or I would wear like a thick knit jumper over this and just show the skirt. But I just thought this was a really pretty dress um, from Zara. And I thought I would share in this video now before it, um, it sells out because if there was none left on floor. I had to ask them to go to stock and they only had like two extra smalls left. So it seems like they're selling out fast in these. So I thought I would share these this quickly. And the last piece I'm sharing in this video is a 
stunning blazer I got um, at a vintage fair. I have a hard time following along London's events because they have so many events. But recently I saw an advertisement for this um, vintage fair. It's like one of the uh, most, the best vintage fairs in London. And they were here in Chelsea recently. So I, me and my friend, I asked my friend if she wanted to go. We went to it. It was hectic. There was so much going on. I actually got some vintage magazines. I love collecting vintage magazines. But the other thing that I got was this amazing blazer. It's got like, it's obviously this um, gorgeous chartreuse green color and it's just got like, I don't know, like glitter thread through it. It is a vintage Christian Dior and this didn't come with the blazer. I mean, it came with the blazer when, she, when the lady sold it to me, but originally this is just like an extra Dior pin that they have put on there to make it more interesting. How adorable are the buttons? These are so reminiscing of the Louis Vuitton buttons on the lilac jacket. I'll, if I can find a picture of it, I'll post it. It's like the same button. I was like, I remember complimenting how cute those buttons were. And here they are. And I just thought this would be perfect for the upcoming Christmas holiday season. This is gonna be such a fun um, blazer or jacket to wear or style for, yeah, the coming season. So I picked this up. I'll definitely link the Vintage Fair um, website down below because they do have a website and they do do them occasionally. I think they had get, they're doing another one in South Ken soon uh, right before Christmas or during Christmas. I can't remember but I'll link their information down below. Obviously these fairs are just a bunch of people who have their own kind of vintage curated uh, collection and they just sell them in their stalls. They have used to have a stall in there. You can bargain. I did not bargain with this lady because I was really happy with the price. She sold this to me for 350 pounds, which I thought was quite fair, because um, a lot of the things in there, like the non-branded stuff, were like already 100, 150 pounds. So 350 for like a vintage designer piece, I was very happy to pay for it. Did I show the back yet? The back is just like that. I love this little bit there. Like how stunning is that? Like this little peplum bit, oh, so pretty. So this is the end of my current vibe for autumn. Um, styling video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. Um, if, you guys if you guys enjoy my styling vlogs, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, leave any suggestions you guys have for the next videos down below. Um, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell button if you guys haven't already and would like to come and catch up with me again. I would totally appreciate that and um, until next time, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye! Mwah.